biggest adjustment uh, coaching high school into your first year? What have you noticed some kind of the biggest adjustment you've had to make this year? Uh, the biggest adjustment for me was, uh, obviously I did come in late, but uh, I would say it will probably be, you know, just competing every day. You know, going, going hard, you know, we're going against the best, the best in the best in Big Ten, best in the nation, like one of the top alignments. So you got to bring your, you got to bring your best every single day. Did you know you were physically ready when you got here? You were physically ready when you got on campus. Did you know that you were physically ready? For uh, this honestly, um, no, I felt, I always had the mindset, like, I always have to be better. I always have to you know, get myself in shape, but, uh, yeah, I mean, to answer your question, no, I didn't. Did you we asked you in August if you'd be starting in the, the first few weeks of the season. Would you have believed us? Uh, no. <laughs> first of all, nice to meet you. I mean, to, obviously, the, the way you handle recruitment, a lot of people didn't talk to you. But as you're going through that, it got to a point where you pretty much knew you were going to show up late wherever you decided to go. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're playing football, you're playing basketball, you're trying to figure out where you're going to school. How exactly did you get yourself prepared to where you were in this position right now? You're not, it's not just a passing situation. It's like you're in the first and second down situations in a normal part of the rotation. Uh, I would say what I did before 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 I took my visits, uh, I was training with Tracy Ford, one of my trainers back home, and uh, training with Cliff Averill, with, uh, keeping my D-line. D-line moves up to up to par. So when I did show it, I, was, you know, I wasn't too far behind. So, you know, as, as the time came around, when I did have my decision made, uh, you know, I took that week, trained more, and then I came in. You were the number one ranked defensive lineman in the country, uh, but like you said, you got in late. I believe in July is when you arrived in Columbus. Um, what were you kind of hoping to do? Just get on the field as a true freshman and contribute, or what? What, what was kind of your your personal goals coming into the year? Uh, for me, I had a lot, but I think coming in that late, it, for me, it was just you know be the best version of myself. Uh, always compete and uh, keep your head down, stay humble, and uh, stay close to God. KT, I got a very basic question. How do you pronounce your last name? Uh, <laughs> Tui Molo out and. I mean, I'm gonna clear this up for my mom. Uh, JT's initials, Jalen, is my real name. So that's where JT comes from. There's no extra T. I'll clear that up. Yeah. So you prefer JT as opposed to JT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JT is just, just my first and last name, just my initials. A lot of us have been getting that wrong. I'm glad you cleared that up. <laughs> You're all good. I think you and Jack being highly rated guys, one of you taking as much time as you could make some maybe. Yes, you guys know what the expectations for what you guys may be able to do. What impresses you about Jack performing this? Oh man, uh, I think being here is my first time meeting him, and you know we we came very close. And you know, one thing that stood out is just you know his his hard work. Was, was, he's just always trying to learn, always trying to get more info, and always trying to get better. Are you about the same size as you were like a year ago? I'm sure you're stronger, but are you bigger than what you were a year ago? Yeah, How much I, stronger are you? I kind of. Uh, since coming in, I've kind of leaned out a little bit more. Uh, but still, my goal is to keep leaning out. But yeah, I can see my body changing as I've been here for the past two, two and a half months. You're listed at 275. Is that about right? Yeah, I'm. Um, that's yeah. So it's 275, 273. Is what I'm you actually lost weight? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. How many pounds? Uh, like three, three or four. Given that you were such a highly uh, Pressure to come in and have to contribute right away and kind of show that, or just look, that's, that's behind me. I'm just going to develop the way I need to develop. Yeah, I think with me and my family, we took it you know, step by step. Uh, first, wanted to make sure it was the best place for me. And, uh, you know, when I got here, just, you know, be the best version of myself, keep my head down, and, and you know, stay grinding, stay learning from the uh, from the older dudes. How would you say you played so far? Uh, I think I played pretty decent. Uh, still lots of improvement, you know, it's got to get better. Having a couple of Washington guys like G and uh, Emeka already on the team, Emeka had already committed and enrolled. Did that help your decision at all to be a Buckeye or? Uh, yeah, no, uh, you know, those are my, you know, those are my close dudes, but I'll say it really didn't play a big part. You know, I still kept it, you know, for me and my family, but, you know, knowing that, you know, they were on the team, you know, it was good to know because you know, when I did get here, you know, I, had, I already had dudes I already knew very closely, but I want to say it played a big part in my recruiting. Coach Jay said Tyler Friday was a guy that kind of took you under his wing. Can you talk about that relationship with, with Tyler? Oh, for sure. That's that's my that's my older brother. That's my dude. Uh, helped me a lot. You know, I, I came in, wasn't very talkative, was very quiet, and uh, you know, he's one of the few dudes, or one of many on the D-line crew that uh, 
yeah. you know, kept talking to me, you know, kept, you know, kept lifting me up. And uh, that guy, I appreciate him. And uh, that's my guy right there. When you flew in for your recruiting visit, all the hoopla, what, what did you think about that? Were you surprised? Did you like it? And what, what did you think? People meeting you at the airport, like the president's coming in. Uh, what, what did you think about that? I didn't expect it. I mean, it was a 4 a.m. flight for us, so we just put on whatever we had <laughs> in the room. But uh, it was a great experience, you know. Uh, they Coach Dan there for doing that. But, yeah, I was very surprised when I seen that. Did they, so nobody gave you a heads up as you were getting no, you, you were no. just, so you were pretty <laughs> shell-shocked when you saw that? Yeah, yeah. You had one of the longest Describe or explain why you decided to take that much time and make that deliberate decision. Yeah, when uh, when COVID hit, it really, I'm pretty sure you guys all know, that took a lot of people to do visits. And, uh, you know, one thing my parents told me is, like, you know, you deserve your five visits to make sure where you want to go. And, you know, after we sat down as a family every day, we wanted to take our time and make sure, you know, the coaches know that this is what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, all the coaches were okay with it. And that's... That's pretty much how it went. And how tough the decision was going to be in, and how big a role did Larry Johnson have? Uh, yeah, it was it was a tough decision for sure. You know, it was a, one of the big one of many big decisions you're going to make in your life, and uh, we took the time as a family. And uh, yeah, because Jay, because Jay was part of that decision too. And uh, I mean, as it, as we made as a family, came down to this school, this is where we decided. JT, when you came in here, because you probably got a chance. To What was your impression of that conversation in comparison to like, his Zoom calls and phone calls with the guy? I guess what kind of made you comfortable with him? Uh, are you asking, like, how did I became comfortable with him? Or, like, yeah, how was he like, different? That, like, what about well, that? Yeah, Thayer Munford over to your left. Watch film with him. What kind of, like, oh, yeah, this is the guy I kind of want to know. Oh, what um, kind of validated the reputation he already has for you? Yeah, when I came in, tell me if I managed this right. When I came in, you know, watching film with him, you know, how technique, how, like, technical he was and, you know, how fundamentally the sound it was was just you know, that was a big thing for me and he you know the way he taught the game to you know to us freshmen to, so we understand it you know it was very up to par and he you know he always to high standards but you know meeting with him every day and hearing how he talks is just you know it's a really big big thing for me hey jt what do you think about jack sawyer how, how good of a football player is he and how much is he added to your team this year oh man jack <laughs> 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 oh jack yeah I mean, sky's the limit for us. We just got to, you know, keep our head down and stay humble and, uh, you know, keep grinding. You know, he's kind of tongue-in-cheek because I Mr. saw Mr. JT, <laughs> what, what kind of shampoo and conditioner do you use for all that hair? Uh, and so shampoo, uh, I go head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. I always have to do that. Uh, right. I might follow it up with some other things. Can't really. Can't, <laughs> can't really, release it? Can't release it. That's, right. that's my thing. Uh, conditioner. Yeah. Uh, you know, what? Whatever's cheap. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Two and one. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Do you have a deal with Hidden Choke? Oh, no. You need no. one? <laughs> JT, JT, to see how many guys in your class are already making plays here in oh, I mean, how exciting is it to be a part of this class and to make it with the media? Oh, it's such a blessing. I mean, you know, to see you know, Trey, Zell, Jack, Tyleek, you know, I could go on. It's just, this is a true honor and blessing, you know, to be a part of this class and, and who knows, like, it, we can do a lot of special things with this crew. How much is that maybe motivating you, lift you up when you see like, hey, here are these guys I came in with, they're making plays, now that motivates me to want to go make plays too? Oh yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, we all, everybody on this team is, is very motivated to each other. You know, we're, we're going to push you, you know, we're going to hold you to, we're going to hold you accountable. And that's what I love about this team. You're a defensive end. You've got the body type that you could play inside. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you want to stay strictly as a defensive end? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, uh, defensive end is my spot. But I think you know, being able to still move, move like I'm light. I'm, like my basketball helped me move at this weight. So you know, being able to move at this weight and go in and out is it's pretty it's pretty fun. I mean, just to show how versatile I am, but. You know, for me personally, it's just, you know, D is my spot. Did you ask him all, uh, what do you thoughts on playing for the Buckeyes? Oh, yeah. I mean, basketball's still in the question. Uh, as of right now, it's just, you know, we're on football right now. JT, simply how important is an aggressive pass rush or, or just defensive line in general to the overall success of your high school team? Like, what, what is, why is it necessary? Uh, sorry, you repeat that one more time? So, why, why is an aggressive pass rush important? or just the overall success of the Ohio State defense? 
Yes, like sir. In, in stopping opposing offenses. Uh, you asking like. Why, like why? I mean, like why, oh, why is it? it yeah, why is it important? Like uh, especially to the guys oh. in the back, if you guys want to stop opposing offenses, why? Uh, I mean, uh, you know, from my early you know, days of playing football, it's just you know, coming off that ball. You know, it's, it's a it's a man's sport. I mean, you know, playing aggressive. You're gonna need that toughness. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys here, Coach. They talk about it every day. You know, you need to be, need to be tough, relentless, and you know that all comes into play. Did you watch video of uh, Iowa, Maryland from last week? Iowa had a pretty good pass rush on Talia, and definitely affected him. Mm -hmm. You got some possibilities there. Just what, your, what are your thoughts about Maryland's uh, offense? Uh, Maryland's a very solid team, uh, but. I mean, for us, we're just, you know, we're getting ready. We're preparing for them and, uh, you know, we're sticking to the drawing board. Yeah, you know, JT, uh, on, the, on, that, on that extra point attempt last week after they had their 75-yard touchdown play, mm -hmm. and you were in on that. You, you could have almost blocked that extra point. It looked like you got, did get penetration. But when Haskell delivers a play like that, what does it just do for the group? Uh, you know, Haskell's a big part of this group. Uh, you know, that's, that's what I mean when I talk about relentless effort and toughness is, you know, when he, he does it or anybody else does it, it just brings up the whole whole unit. Yeah. But does it does it set the standard? Does it show you as a freshman? Oh yeah. The for next sure. play is the next play. Yeah, we for sure. We can we can see that in practice too. You know, that's one thing they, they made sure to tell me is, you know, just move on to the next play. You know, don't don't dwell on the on the mistakes you made. Just you know, keep your head up, get on the next play and let's get let's get back going. Well, JT, JT, we've talked to the defensive tackles about the competition and sacks with the DEs and with the defensive ends. Are you guys going to catch up with the defensive tackles this year? Uh, yeah, that's the goal, yeah. But as of right now, I think we're doing pretty pretty solid as a unit. Are you tired of hearing from those guys about this? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean that. I think that's the, that's the, that's what comes with the brotherhood. We're gonna always compete against each other, and you know that's our way of lifting each other up. Is it constant from those guys? Uh, you hear it in there. <laughs> Is Jalen J A L E N? Uh, J A Y L A H N. Okay, so we don't we don't want to mess that up too. Say that one more time, please. J A Y L A H N. Okay, got it. Thank you. Because you started, you didn't work here obviously in the spring or even summer. The fact that you've started already. Uh, I mean, going in, you know, when Coach told me I was gonna start, you know, that just, you know, just stick to what you learn, just stick to what you know, uh, to what they taught you, stick to your techniques and, and all your abilities, and you know, just go from there. What are the biggest things you've learned in those first five games? Like maybe what are things maybe that you know has been eye-opening to you, or do you feel like you've gotten you better from playing? Uh. Like, what was the difference between them? Yeah, I mean, just what if, like, playing five games, games better, maybe are you better now than right. you were oh, five games ago? Probably just, uh, you know, the speed of the game. Uh, you know, I think one thing all the dudes told me is, like, you know, practice will help you get better for the games. And that's one thing I learned quickly is, you know, going against our offense every single day, you know, really will prepare you for, for the games. Is there, like, yeah, a welcome day. to Ohio State moment in one of those early practices? It's kind of like, okay, this is the big time now. Uh, I'll say every day is like that. You know, they're always, you know, like I said, we're always going hard and tough, and you know, you gotta bring your your best every single day. Well, Jay was pretty complimentary of how you are on the game, which is part of the reason why we get a lot of this time. I guess, from, from, in your words, what type of skill set, what type of time does it take to be good at that at this age? When you're a true freshman, like Uh, for me, I would say just you know, trusting your coaches, uh, trusting the technique they're teaching you, and uh, you know. Continue to build on that, and you know, that would that help you in the long run. Just just trust everything they're, they're teaching you. What about basketball? Has translated has made you such a good player. Uh, probably just movement. You know, be able to move side to side, bend, and uh, using some of those, you know, those moves you use in basketball at the end. How much have you talked to Coach Borkwest in the past few months? Uh, I haven't talked to him uh, since uh, my career, but. As of right now, it's just, you know, just very focused on football. Do you just sneak over there and take some shots? Oh, I do. After yeah. practice. Who's the, who's the best basketball player? Top five basketball players. Uh, on the team? Yeah. Man, you got DeWan, uh, Josh Proctor, uh, you know, you Jack Sawyer. I'll put, I'll put, I'll probably put uh, G. Scott in there. It's a big lineup, man. Yeah, yeah, we we got to start at five for sure on that team. <laughs> hey, JT, you game now, you know, Jake, you've been through some college football games now. Just feel like you've been in a fight. What does it feel like 
compared to like high school going against these physical guys you guys are going against them so you know oh uh i mean it's just you know, everybody's tough everybody knows what they're doing uh like i say you know what, what they're bringing you just got to bring your technique and what you did practice all week and just bring to the game and you know turn it up in there so. You have a lot of questions on Last about, question, your, right here. about your recruitment, but I'm just kind of wondering, like, mm -hmm. is there ever a moment where you kind of felt like you were just misunderstood and why you were taking your time and doing this, you know, not for the attention, not for anything else, just to make the right decision? Do you ever feel like there was moments where you were just simply misunderstood? Yeah, uh, a lot of times, but, you know, that's that's what the group of uh, talking with my family was about, you know, just, just staying within the core, you know, just staying, trusting the process, trusting God, and, uh, mm -hmm. You know, with all that being said, it, you know, I'm blessed to be here.